to have you here. You look very beautiful. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Of course. How, how long were you on the Vampire Diaries? Uh, about six years. And was that your like big break? Was that your first thing? It uh, not my first thing. No, I was on Degrassi before that. Oh, Degrassi yeah. with Drake. Huh? That's right. Were you on with Drake at the same time? I was, yes. And then he amazingly was able to stand up out of that wheelchair. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> Technology and medicine is really advanced. So you must have been a kid when you started acting. I was about 16 years old when I got the show, but I feel like I've been... It didn't start there. That was my professional career. I'd been sort of acting before that. Acting out? Um, that with too. Your parents? That <laughs> too, all the time. But no, my, whenever we'd go anywhere, I would make up little characters and lie to people and say that I was somebody else, have an accent, have a whole backstory created, my mom would come up and, and find out that I'd been lying to people. <laughs> so your mother was letting you wander around alone as yes, a child. absolutely. Doing an accent to strangers who then were puzzled as to why kid had an accent and mom exactly. didn't. You're really lucky to, to be here and not, like, <laughs> in that an I wasn't orphanage abducted? or something yeah, exactly. right now. Yeah. <laughs> I heard you love the 80s. I do. I was born extent? in the 80s. I, oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. But you missed, really, the 80s. I, 1989, so technically the 80s, but just on the cusp, yes, technically. So, because you, you have a... I uh, brought a photograph here. Now, tell, before I reveal this, because it's one of the great photographs I've seen, tell us how this came to happen. Well, we it was Labor Day weekend. Mm -hmm. We wanted to do a throwback party and have crazy outfits and pay an homage to the years that we were born in, mm -hmm. and that was the 80s, and we thought it looked great on Instagram. Cause... And you were right, and at this party, not only were you there in an outfit, by the way, that I've ne I never saw in the 80s, <laughs> and we would still be in the 80s if anyone wore this, and yet... John Stamos himself. Is that really John, or is it a cardboard cutout of John? <laughs> it's actually John wearing John. Now, or Jesse. Did John... Was John invited, or did you say his name three times, like Beetlejuice, and it he was, just appeared? We, I said it five times, and then, poof, he just suddenly appeared. It was crazy. Did people lose their minds that John Stamos was at your 80s party? He's a, he's a friend of the friend circle, so I he was see. invited. He was okay. To be what there. does that mean, a friend of the friend circle? I mean, we're all we're all buddies. We, uh, we all... What does that mean, you're all buddies? Um... <laughs> I just want to know what he's up to is really what I want to know. <laughs> he lives in L.A. I, I, I met him through a bunch of our friends, and we all went away for the weekend. It was really... Oh, it was, really? It was you, yeah. John, and all your friends? <laughs> yeah. And they're all girls, your friends, no, right? No, oh, no, no. Oh, they're guys also. No, yeah. There was, a, there was about 60 of us, actually. Unbelievable. Yeah. I don't know why that makes me angry, but it does. <laughs> Tell next time, about... you'll, we'll invite you next time. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Flatliners is a movie from... What year did the original Flatliners come out? I think 1990. Is this a reimagining of that? Because... That is the new trend, to call it a reimagining. I re like that, yeah. I don't know who yes. came up with reimagining instead of remaking, but Not it sounds I. much more exciting when you reimagine a film. Totally. And <laughs> you play who in the movie? I play Marlo, who's this overachieving, sort of competitive, very stubborn, determined doctor. Or she's, she's a resident who wants to become a doctor. And she tries to kill herself in order to find out what happens in the afterlife. Yeah. yeah. People <laughs> should not do that, though, at home in no, general. No, please <laughs> do not do that. that is, it's not gonna... I'll tell you what happens in the afterlife. You start wearing <laughs> shirts with your own face on them <laughs> and appearing at parties in spandex. <laughs> At least that's what's gonna happen to John in the afterlife. He looks great, though. He looks exactly the same, which is the craziest part. I know he... I know that's part of what makes me so angry about him. Like, <laughs> he seems to get better looking with each year. Mm -hmm. Like, he'll be at, like, your 70th birthday party, and you'll be an old lady, and he'll still look exactly <laughs> like this. <laughs> is John gonna come out here no, right now? I no. feel like we spent the entire interview talking about it. Well, listen, <laughs> everyone thinks about him a lot, so it makes perfect sense. <laughs> I do think about him a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's number one on my, uh, you know, flip to the other side list. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's very good to see you. Congratulations. Yeah. The movie's called yeah. Flatliners. It opens in September 29th. Nina Dobra, everybody. Do you love clicking buttons and subscribing to things? Then click the button to subscribe to my channel, and you'll finally be happy.